2 and when I got the new controller I found a problem that I didn't I was not aware of and uh, I didn't like the fixes I saw out there so I was gonna make a video on my fix how to do it and uh, from start to finish so to, first let me explain the issue you are probably aware of it but for anybody that is not I will explain the issue I ordered the S2 which I thought was identical to the S4 and I knew it didn't have some of uh, these notifications right in this area for looping and obviously it was a two deck versus a four deck but what I didn't realize is it doesn't have a dedicated filter knob so here's the S2 see it just has the EQ and then the Q button where this the S4 has the EQ and the filter so what their solution is uh, tractor from factory is you have to hit shift and gain to access your dedicated deck filters which I use the filter effect a lot and I didn't like that uh, I didn't like that for two reasons first of all I didn't like the reason that you have to hit shift plus gain not not and then you you lose your free hand if you're fading in and out of a uh, song or something like that if you're using it for a transition effect now both your hands are taken just due to filter effect and now other that's where most of the solutions come in at most of the other solutions are the users switch it so you have to hit shift and gain to just the gain and the filter is the gain knob by default well I still don't like that because the gain knob it, it turn it doesn't have a stop when it turns and it doesn't have a center like the other knobs do so my solution was since the filter is an effect anyways and it's the effect I use most often I decided I wanted to map it to the first effect on each deck on each uh, F FX1 and FX2 the first knob now of course FX2 is your group FX and FX1 is your single FX but um, it still gives you two single effects as well as you have the filter on top of it and you still have two for your group FX so what I did was I mapped deck 1 to FX1 knob and button and deck 2 to FX2 the first knob and button as the dedicated filter and it works fantastically and it's the best solution I've seen so far so now I'm going to show you real quick how to do it because I did not know how to do this and it took me almost two days to try to figure it out because there's no simple simple explanation out there of how to do this so let me show you first see right now I am moving FX1 and it's moving if you look right here it's moving the filter and it's overriding it's not moving the first FX and then the button turns it on and off okay so now that I showed you the issue I'm going to show you how to go about fixing it so if we go now that we're in tractor and you can click either your preferences icon or you can go f to tractor and preferences go down to controller manager and then here's your default and you have no adjustment table and uh, it's set on your default and it's set in your in and out ports so you want to go I you could modify that one what I did was I, I want to create a different one just so I have the default to go back to uh, as always as a uh, um, just a default mapping as I go through and change things so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into control s2 and I'm going to choose default that just makes a duplicate of what we had go into edit edit comment and I'm going to change this to filter map so we got that set it's filter map now and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add a mapping for our filter which is under mixer filter adjust 
and we want to make that map to our left fx knob 1. So that's there, and we want to do deck A. So our left filter knob is set to filter adjust on our left uh, FX knob 1. And then now also want to do the filter on, which we're going to map to the left FX button 1, which is the button right below the knob, and that is on deck A as well. And we want to choose this as our in and out now. So our filter map, and I'm just doing deck A, to shorten the video, you just go through the exact same thing and do deck B. And you do want to make sure it's override factory map. Close out of this. So now if I turn the filter knob on deck A, it does that. One thing, as you see, it was still moving. Here, let me show you what it was doing. It was still moving the, the filter. It was still moving the FX as well as the filter. If you watch these two, see it's still doing that. And how you get that fixed is you go back in here and you shut off the default. So the default one is no longer active. Our filter map, the one we did with the mapping, is active. And now if we go in here and we turn it, oh, turn on one, right there. So now it's not moving this filter up here. It's only, which I could, you could change that to any effect. It is only changing the dedicated filter on deck A. And say you have a sweep, you want to shut it off, right in the middle of the sweep, shuts off. The button works below it. So that's my fix. Hopefully that helps you. I believe that's a better fix than using the gain knob or um, I also seen another video on using the sample uh, adjustment as well. But I think this is probably the easiest, most effective way to get a dedicated filter, use the dedicated filter for both decks. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, let me know.